पी ओ वी नीट इज़ क्लियर एंड यू गॉट इन टू अ मेडिकल कॉलेज है गाइज सो नाउ नीट इज़ जस्ट ऑन द कॉर्नर एंड यू आर वंडरिंग वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू आर स्ट्रेसिंग यू आर स्कोरिंग फोर हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड इवन फाइव हंड्रेड्स एंड यू डोट नो हाउ टू इम्प्रूव यूर स्कोर यू जस्ट वॉन्ट अ नो बी एस गाइड यू जस्ट वॉन्ट समू टू टेल यू हाउ कैन आई इम्प्रूव हंड्रेड वन फिफ्टी इवन टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स इन यूर मॉक टेस्ट बिकॉज यू डो वॉन्ट टू टेक अ ब्रेक यू आर डन यू जस्ट वॉन्ट क्लियर नीड दिस यूर एंड गेट इन टू अ गुड मेडिकल कॉलेज You are on the right video. Hi, I am Ayushi and I am currently a third year MBBS student in Bangalore. In this video, I am going to give you seven tips that I have used personally, which helped me improve my marks. I was scoring around four hundreds. I was not able to go above that, and I desperately needed to score more than five hundred, five fifty to get into a medical college. So that is what I did, and I am going to tell you how to do that. Make sure you watch the entire video and subscribe. The first thing I want you to do is to remove fifteen days from the number of days that you have left. If you have forty days left. You remove 15 and you're left with 25 days. If you have 30 days, you have 15 days left. For the last 15 days, there's a separate strategy. You have to wait for that. But for now, for whatever days you've left, 25 days or 15 days or whatever it is, I want you to focus on clearing all your backlogs, practicing as many questions as possible, and remembering the concepts and understanding them. So you're going to sit for 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, and finish everything that you can do, right? Absolutely wrong. This is where everybody makes a mistake, and this is how you can take the jump and make sure you get a seat and not somebody else. And that is by focusing on the important topics, on the heavy weightage topics. Bhed ki chal mat chalo. Don't just follow the crowd. Stand out. And how will you stand out? By focusing on the numbers. By focusing on the weightage of the topics. And I have made it easy for you. I analyze the past ten year question papers and the trends, and how many questions are coming from each chapter. and here's a list i'm going to attach this pdf in the description box make sure you check it out at the end of this video and make sure you definitely practice the chapters that have a high weightage so make sure if you have backlogs in chapters that are of high weightage you solve them first and you do them first it's okay even if you miss out chapters in ke weightage kam hai unse bas ek question aa raha hai aur questions na aa rahe hain as long as you've done the other ones perfect so i want you to act smart and not just work hard working hard is very important in it it's an objective exam so it's not like your board exams it does require a lot of hard work but with that you need to do smart work watch one shot videos watch marathon videos and once you're done with that it doesn't end there for the backlog chapters make sure you solve at least 25 to 30 mcqs so you will be all set so your strategy for the number of days that you have left after you've minus 15 but if you think this is all that you need to do you are absolutely wrong On every third day, I want you to still give a paper. I have not completed my syllabus. I'm scared to give papers. I don't know what to do. I don't want to give papers. I'm scared. What if I fail? What if this and that? Listen to me. This is the biggest mistake I think I have committed in my NEET journey. And if you just want to take one advice from this entire video, make sure you take this one that I'm telling you right now. Please give papers. Everybody tells you you must be scared. I understand that. I was scared too. But would you rather be scared? before giving the exam or would you be scared after your results come out food for thought now i want to give you certain tips for subjects so for physics number 1 for physics i want you to solve pyqs you need to do pyqs because many questions are the same the values change but the approach is the same so make sure you do neat pyqs at least the last 10 year papers be thorough with them your organic chemistry practice 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 your pyqs In organic chemistry, NCERT is your Bhagavad Gita. Eighty percent of your questions are asked from your NCERT. Physical chemistry, practice, learn the formulas, understand the concept. Biology, NCERT is your Bhagavad Gita. भाई सब बोलते हैं सब इसलिए बोलते हैं क्योंकि it is the absolute truth. Ninety percent of your questions come exactly from the NCERT. The rest ten percent is a little twisted, but make sure you're reading your NCERT. जितनी बार पढ़ सको उतनी बार पढ़ो. set daily goals and achieve them i don't want you to make a time table of one month and one week of what you'll do on each day you're wasting your time you're giving gratification to yourself by thinking ki you've done so much when you've actually not done it you've just planned it so don't plan just take action what you can do is you can set daily goals and you can do time blocking so today you decide what you're going to do today don't plan don't build dreams work on it roz padhai karo set daily goals what is time blocking is that you block 3 hours for physics 3 hours for chemistry 3 hours for biology you decide how you want to do that but you have to block that interval of hours for that subject and that subject alone and please solve those damn pyqs now for the last 15 days what i want you to do is just two things mock tests and revisions 
which is actually the most difficult thing to do if you think about it so i want you to give a mock test every day give a mock test every day for 15 days i want you to solve 15 papers i don't care how bad you think it's going to be but please do it and you are the only one that's going to get benefit out of it and there's an approach to do this three hours you give yourself to solve the paper and then one hour i want you to check the paper yourself you yourself are going to check where you've gone wrong and wherever you've made a mistake write those mistakes down in a sheet of paper or in a whiteboard like that so you can see it every day write the question and write the answer and if you revise this you will thank me because these mistakes are what cost you marks in the exam pad ke sab jaate hai bhai what makes a difference is how many negative markings you're getting and negative markings se hi rank badalti hai aur rank se hi seat aata hai revision ke liye you can watch videos it helped me a lot during my knee time i used to watch physics wala channel pe jo bhi aate the one shot videos marathon videos nostalgia but you know uh, i think they started 15 days before your exam you can watch those videos review your ncert the last 15 days mein don't read your ncert just try to review it jo bhi tumne highlight kiya ya jo bhi tumne underline kiya agar tumne pura book ya highlight kiya to <laughs> can't do anything a few tips for improving your memory and making sure you retain every information in the day of your exam is multiple repeated revisions 13715 is a formula that i use so revise it on the first day then on the third then on the 7th and then on the 15th this is so that your memory doesn't go down like this and your curve goes like this retention curve so do revision repeatedly multiply in short durations and you will remember everything uh i don't know if you can see but i wanted you to show can you see that wall yeah so that's how i study i just scribble everything that i can so that it's right in front of my eyes and i can wake up every day and read it so that's how i made mind maps these are for my mbbs exams but i used to do this for neat for boards for every exam that i had to give so make sure you do that if it helps you lastly a few mistakes to completely avoid theory zyada practice kam ye sab nahi hona chahiye थ्योरी पढ़ते जाओ लेकिन प्रैक्टिस करते जाओ कैसे टेस्ट दो टेस्ट दो टेस्ट दो स्किपिंग एन सी आर टी बिग मिस्टेक डोंट डू इट यू स्टिल हैव टाइम स्किपिंग मॉक टेस्ट बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक बिगेस्ट ब्लैंडर एवर डोंट डू इट जस्ट गिव योर मॉक टेस्ट यू विल बी फाइन ट्रस्ट मी यूल बी फाइन नॉट एनलाइजिंग योर मिस्टेक्स अगेन अ बिग ब्लैंडर जस्ट डू इट एंड यू विल सी हाउ योर मार्क्स आर इम्प्रूविंग डे बाई डे That is everything that I had to tell you in this video. I hope this video helped you. If you want me to make another video, you can let me know. I can try to make it, but I honestly don't think that I will because there is so much uh, neat content here and there. And I want to give you advices that actually work and not just try to clickbait you and you know just gain views out of you. I did not score more than 600, so I can't tell you how to score more than 600. And I won't tell you that because it's not fair and it's not true. So I only want to give you information that is true. But uh, hey na, I can help you. So if you want me to help you in other ways. or if you want me to talk about topics that i have not discussed in this video and you have questions you can ask me in the comments i can try to do that in another video if you're watching up to this point and you watched the entire video i have something for you and you only i have a giveaway only for people who are appearing for neat 2025 for you i want to give away the latest set of books which is your pyq solved pyq for physics chemistry and biology for your neat 2025 specifically so if you're watching up to this point video your address and your details and i will ship those books to you free of cost for your neat 2025 examinations so if you're watching up to this point you just got lucky <laughs> my first giveaway but you know it's not something that big and that's why i didn't say it in the beginning of the video so for people who actually stuck until the end without knowing that there's something at the end of the video for you fill the link in the description box and uh, that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye